How is everyone doing today? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We've got a very, very special episode today, and this is one of my true unicorn bourbons. Something I have wanted to try and just acquire a bottle of someday for the longest time since I first got into bourbon. Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. Now, today's batch is the 2016 release and comes in at 97 proof, 12 years. So 12 year age dated. I'm excited, really, really excited. You know, when I first got into bourbon, I was I bought Blanton's bottles that had my, um, you know, my son's date of birth on it. And that was something that was really, really cool, really special. You know, when he's 21, we could crack it open together and he can try that Blanton's. But then I discovered this thing called birthday bourbon. And I'm like, wait a minute. Now I need birth years of this. I mean, there's just the reputation with Brown Foreman, Old Forester, my, probably my favorite distillery, honestly. I can't be more excited. I, ca I cannot be more excited to try this, review it for you all, and get to try it myself finally today. So, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon 2016. Let's go right into it. Major thank you so much to um, Rick, one of my uh, local buddies in one of my local bourbon groups, for hooking me up with this sample. Never would have been able to try it otherwise. You know, I don't have any experience with Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. This is my first sample I believe I've ever had. Just one what one um one sample one able to try it ever you know doesn't show up in bars around here of course doesn't show up in bottles anywhere around here so uh, color is very very nice you know sticking to the sides of the glass very well for being that low proof you know 90 um 97 but very nice sticking to the glass pretty impressive for for that low proof as far as i know this is not non-chill filter or anything it's just pretty standard so let's go right into the nose Oh yeah, it's, oh man, it is that aged Old Forester. I mean, it, Old Forester banana note, so desserty. You know, the, the creamy desserts that notes that come through an Old Forester all the time. But this layer of oak is just on another level and it's, it's delicious creamy oak. Mmm, it's giving me almost like a potpourri like nose for some reason, you know, very floral. A lot of floral notes coming through. Hmm, so rich though, so rich, so dense. Like the oak, the oak smells very dense, but there's no, nothing bitter, nothing off-putting off -putting about it. I'm trying not to overhype myself on this because I've been so excited about wanting to try this. Um, I don't want to put it on a pedestal. You know, I, I, I feel like I tend to do that with certain whiskeys. And you have to go into it objectively, you know. So far, there's nothing bad about this at all. This, um, I, during a live stream recently, I got to try um, the Old Forester President's Choice. Thank you so much to the Bourbon Junkies for hooking us up with a sample of that. But Klein and I tried that blind. Holy crap. That was on another level of, like, of Old Forester. But this is pretty damn close. Like, this is some really good stuff. Just on nose. Even some fruitiness coming through, you know? But it's almost like a chocolate-coated co fruit. You know, chocolate-covered strawberry or raspberry. ay ay ay. Let's give this a sip. Cannot wait. Mmm. Woo! Baby. Okay. Um... I'm really surprised by the amount of mouth coating and the finish that comes through <clears throat> for being that low of proof. I shouldn't say it's almost 100 proof. Age, though. Age makes all the difference. You know, I talk about this all the time, but age is such a wonderful thing. I used to be so off put by overly, overly oaked whiskeys, I would call them overly oaked bourbons. Then I came to understand what a, a well aged bourbon should be. You know, I tried things like a Pappy 15. I tried William Rue Weller. I tried some of these older expressions that really show you what oak can do and shows you what oak can be versus something that's just, say, 15 years old, like I.W. Harper, that gives you that oak note, but it's like, ooh, that's not good note, not good oak to me, to me. Um, this is wonderful. I mean, this is that oak note you love. That's This is creamy oak, delicious oak. This is perfume in a glass. Really weird to say, but I'm getting a lot of perfume notes. Again, I mentioned kind of that potpourri in the nose. That's what this is. It's like, it's perfumey. I don't know how else to describe it. Unless you can try it and, and 
and, and call out that perfume note. That's what it is to me, at least, is a, a, a perfume note. Kind of reminds me of, like, my grandmother's perfume. Weird to say. Weird to say. But it tastes good. Mmm. <laughs> So the perfume note I'm describing is kind of floral. Like I said on the nose, like that floral perfumey note. Front of the palate, it's like sweet oak. Center of the palate is where I get that perfume quality. You know, I, I, I don't know. I've never had anything like that. The, um, the President's Stories did not have that. It, it didn't. Um, so maybe this has something to do with where they're aging, how they're aging. But that is such a distinct flavor. And if that's consistent with the Old Forester birthday bourbons, then maybe that's what I can associate it with now. You know, I've never had any other, any other releases, so I don't know. Um, but I definitely like that note. You know, it's very fresh, like fresh cut flowers is what it almost tastes like to me. Interesting. I was not expecting that to come out of this bottle, but I don't mind it. Let's go one more sip. It's just everything good about that. There's really no negatives to this whiskey that I can think of. You know, um, if I was able to try this maybe at Barrel Proof, but that's not, I mean, that's unrealistic. We're talking Old Forester birthday bourbon at Barrel Proof, maybe someday. <laughs> but even at that proof, it, it gives you nice, nice flavor. You know, it's definitely deep, it's definitely complex, and there's definitely a lot of layers going on here. Again, I think... I really am curious now to try more releases of the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon to see how it compares. You know, I wish I had more experience with it so I could compare it to previous releases and see what's better, what's worse. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the only batch I've ever tried. So I have nothing to compare it to. All I know is this is a good one. 2016 is some really good stuff. Hmm. For any of you that do have experience with uh, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, please let me know. Um, is there a consistent flavor profile between batches, between releases, or is it different for every release? You know, that perfume note, is there anything you can associate that with that you taste in the whiskey to, to get that note, you know? Let me know. I really want to hear that. Retail on this, I'm really honestly not sure. I'll put it on the screen for you so you guys can see, but I know it's not unreasonable, you know? It's probably right around the 100 bucks, a little bit more. Not bad. Maybe even a little bit cheaper. Brown Foreman, Old Forest, they do things the right way. You know, they make their products available. This is a limited release, obviously, so it's going to be difficult to find. But they're everyday products. They're everywhere. Any old Forester off their normal line you can usually find, even the 1910 and the 1920 for the most part. So I love that about Old Forester. They're, they're doing it right, and I hope they continue to do that. I hope other distilleries take notes. Thank you all for watching the episode today. Hope you enjoyed this review. I know this is an older expression, but um, something I just got a sample of, and I had to try it. I had to put it out for you guys, so I hope you do like it. Again, if you have any experience with birthday bourbon, please let me know down in the comments below what your experiences are. You like it, you don't like it, which releases are better than others. Because I'm going to be looking for a 2017 for my oldest son, and then a 2018 for my second son. So, hopefully I can find them at a decent price, you know. Appreciate y'all hanging out today. If you haven't already checked out my brand new website, please give it a look, bourbonsane.com. We're doing weekly whiskey reviews, breaking news in the industry. Um, we talked about the Wild Turkey 17-year bottled and bond, which just got released in markets. We talked about the brand new Elijah Creek Toasted Barrel that's probably coming very soon. That label's been approved, so I'm excited about that. Wish the proof was a little bit higher, but what are you going to do? Thank you all, though, so much for watching today. I hope you all have a great week. Stay insane, everyone.